today I would like to speak about my experience and my journey as a student to become what I am today and also my experiences as a woman administrator. When I was a small child, as a young girl, I was stereotyped because of my looks, because of my gender, and because of my background. People would often say, you can become A, B, C, but you cannot become a leader. You cannot become a high achiever. And by God's grace, in whichever exam I have sat, I cracked it. To first become a doctor, then the first woman topper of the state civil services, then the first woman IPS from JNK, and an IS officer today. So to all of you, I would like to say that life will give you a lot of problems. And if you want to be successful, you have to be in a mindset of solution, of solution orientation, not problem orientation. In fact, the 0.009% of the 11 lakh people who get selected into IAS top 100 are those who have the guts to hold their nerves in the toughest of situations and to find a solution when to all others there appears none. To all those who want to sit in any competition, I would give them seven rules. The first, don't expect life to be easy. Life is not easy. It's very hard. To all the boys and girls, I want to say that life will be very, very difficult. It will give you tough things, but you have to hold your nerves, make a plan, and stick to it. I assure you from my experience, what I have learned is that you will improve that plan if you are ready to actively seek guidance and to step up your game. But for that, you have to leave comfort. You have to sacrifice your sleep. You have to sacrifice partying. You have to sacrifice movies, going out with friends, because there is no other way. And whosoever tells you that I did not study, I did not work hard, it was just by fluke, it was just luck, they are actually lying because there is no other way. Rule number two, always keep motivating your own self because a motivated, made up mind full of passion is the highest form of energy that we have on the planet Earth because a motivated mind can do anything. A motivated mind can become and achieve anything. If you're ready to put in all your energy, your effort, your time to that one thing which you want to become, nothing can stop you. You are the only one between yourself and success. And only if you find out why you want to become something. As a child, I was always thinking of becoming and qualifying the toughest of things. I would always say, I want to do this because I actually wanted to prove to myself that I can do the toughest things, I can crack the toughest exams. That was my motivation and it inspired me in my journey. You have to find out the reason why you want to start your journey. If you don't know why, then you will never be motivated or encouraged when you are in that phase when you feel demotivated and when life happens and life will happen. Even if you start from a very high note, life will happen. There will be tragedies, personal tragedies, failures, rejections. But only when you know why you want to become what you want to become, will you strive enough. People keep waiting for external motivators. They think, that some savior will come, some mentor and coach will come. To all those people waiting, let me tell you, nobody is coming. Nobody will come. 
you have to be your own motivator you have to be your own savior in fact small things start reading something positive start doing anything positive when you get up in the morning su such a small thing listen to anything positive because i am a great believer of momentum if you do small things they will snowball into big achievements i'll give you a personal example when i was deputy commissioner in a district badgam of jammu kashmir i just visited a school and i found that that school was having low girls a uh, number of roles of girls and the dropout rate was increasing every year the reason was there was not an adequate toilet there was a toilet but it was not functioning i just did one simple thing i told my exian that no i want you to bring water here and it should be functional within few months the role started increasing and it gave me an idea why not do it for all the toilets and we moved ahead we installed incinerators and sanitary napkin dispensers in all government schools and colleges of district badgam so let me tell you it all started from a single single act but you should never underestimate the importance of that single small positive act and the momentum that it will give you it will break your inertia rule number 3 basically you should never ever underestimate the power of scheduling and routine whatever you schedule will be done in fact the most efficient people on earth they block their time for the most important activity they want to do because blocking the time will preserve that time from distraction you know according to a study a normal human being in his working time gets distracted for almost 2 hours in the working time and it takes 20 minutes to come back to that natural flow and also if you tackle your worst problems first the kind of energy the boost that you will get and the accomplishment that you will feel after completion of that task it will increase your performance and take you closer to your larger goal we all have a limited reserve of decisions if you want to decide every day what i want to wear how i want to look what i want to eat what i want to work and every day you have to make that decision that will decrease your reserve of decisions 80% of the work that we do should be routinized scheduled and 20% of that reserve should be for the most important decisions that you want to make rule number 4 problems are actually opportunities to grow life will give you lot of problems as a student i faced many problems the problem of first thing was whether i should go for coaching extra classes and the problem itself was so huge for me at that time that i decided i will not go for any classes any extra classes i'll rely only on what my school teaches and i will not go for those classes and all but i think that any problem is also an opportunity for you to learn to become better it can either decrease your self confidence or self belief but if you take the responsibility even if it is 1% you're doing or one person in that variation if it is you're doing if you take that responsibility to become better by learning from that problem you will definitely succeed what is the issue then the issue is that in most of the problems whenever a event happens whenever a failure strikes you don't qualify or you don't get that seat you don't become that particular person or you don't get that job you get financially broke we give ourselves the permission to feel bad and sad long long after also today also remembering that this happened a year back this happened 2 years back you know it is a survey that by 
most of the disabilities will be related to mental disabilities not physical disabilities and that too mostly among women reason is that we keep on brooding and brooding about some events that happened months and even years ago if you take that opportunity of failure to learn from it and become better you will definitely succeed in fact what uh, we did in my organization as i was director information and covid happened everybody in my team was disheartened because we had started so many new initiatives and then we thought no we'll find out the problem and we'll tackle that problem what was the problem in covid we found out that there were a lot of people who were facing mental issues because of isolation depression increase in suicidal tendencies domestic violence child abuse drug addiction was increasing and we thought that we will work on these problems socio psychological mental problems and another problem that we identified was that children who were not having access to internet they could not go to school and they were falling behind in their classes so for these problems we brainstormed and found out a solution we started tele classes tele classes of 2 hours every day and by today we have done 486 classes tele classes 2 hours every day for classes 7 to 10th every day calling teachers to our studio recording them and beaming that on uh, television doordarshan every day for those students who could not access internet the second solution that we found out after brainstorming why not have sessions of psychological counseling for people who are undergoing such issues like depression because of isolation because of business losses economic losses and we started sukoon until date it's a weekly session that we do on our social networks uh, that is social media platforms and uh, also on television we have done 76 sessions calling doctors psychiatrists psychoanalysts social scientists who discuss what are the mental social psychological effects of covid we started in may 2020 and it's still continuing rule number 5 don't follow the crowd but see where it's going they always say don't follow the footsteps of others make your own milestone i believe and i will qualify it that you should always keep a track of the trends you should form your own niche and your own success story make your own form of success but it is also important to know what is happening in the society what is the routine normal what are the trends what are people doing as a woman leader i would like to develop my own style of leadership i don't want to be a male dominant form of leader i want to develop myself but it is also prudent to know the skills knowledge and attitudes what male leaders have and for that social skills are very important it is very important to know how to socialize what we think for success you just have to sit in a corner you have to work hard and you can do individual efforts no for success it is also very important to know how to behave how to gain and assimilate knowledge from others how to work with groups how to work with peers how to learn from teammates how to lead and that will come only through social skills socialization skills and actively practicing social skills in my current assignment as mission director or ceo rural livelihoods mission i have seen women rural poor women after they associate with ummeed self help groups we train them we give them the confidence that they can be bread winners from bread makers they can be bread winners for their family when they understand that they are of some value the level of confidence the level of self esteem rises and there are hundreds of women associated with us who have now become sarpanches they come into politics they become entrepreneurs they are teaching other women how to become entrepreneurs this is the importance of self esteem 
when you know that you can do something good for your family for your society as a woman i am telling you most women have this under confidence even if they are educated even if they have all the qualifications they don't think they are worth it they don't think that they can come in public spaces they can speak their mind they can have an opinion to all those women also i would like to say that you are equal god has made you equal only you can make yourself or belittle yourself so have the self esteem the last but not the least rule that i would like to tell you all you may think that it is very petty small it's journaling please write down what you think please write down how you have succeeded or failed every day writing in many senses is more important than speech you know why because it crystallizes your thoughts it puts context to your thinking you start analyzing yourself why am i doing this when you write down that this is what i have done today this is why i felt bad this is why i felt good you analyze yourself it's like talking to yourself to all people not just students but even people who are in jobs who are entrepreneurs who are in their normal daily routine life to housewives to people who are doing tremendous business all of them it's very important to know what you are who you are what you are becoming and talk to yourself these were the seven rules of success that i wanted to share with all of you i could share all this because i have the confidence in my own abilities and i believe that every man and woman can achieve the best they want to achieve if they put their heart and minds to whatever they believe is meant for them thank you so much